Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I'm going to show you all the hotkeys for Citra, which is a Nintendo 3DS emulator on Steam Deck. And this could be using Citra directly, this could be using Citra through Emulation Station as well. The process is basically the same. So, one thing for Emulation Station and Citra, you'll need to, or you know, whichever one you prefer to use, you want to go to the controller configuration. And for the layout, you want to make sure EMU Deck Citra 3DS is selected. And if it's not in templates, press R1 and you should be here. You might need to scroll down a bit, download it and install that. Again, same process if you're doing it for Emulation Station. Obviously, we, if you're using Citra directly, that's obviously only for 3DS. If you're using it on Emulation Station, Emulation Station is a collection of emulators so you know ps1 like dock station ps2 pcsx2 you know you know the whole shebang like xbox ds 3ds as a result if you go into emulation station go to the controls you set that to citra 3ds like i have if let's say you launch a different emulator you will probably need to revert it back to gamepad or select one that's more appropriate for that emulator bear that in mind other than that we're all good to go i'm going to launch you up via emulation station but the principle is the same if you are in you know citra directly they'll launch the game super mario 3d land i'm going to turn the volume down Okay, so right now the configuration that I've got is the left side of the screen is the top screen, the right side of the screen is the touch screen, which is the bottom screen. And if you on the back of your Steam Deck, you know, if, if I turn the Steam Deck around, you'll see a bunch of buttons on the so this is the right side of it, you got R4, R5, the left side, L4 and L5. These are very important. Let me just put this back so you can see. Focus back in on it, and now if I press L4, that swaps the screen, you know, dependent on what the current layout is. If I press, uh, what's it called? Do, 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 do. Uh, it's L. What's happened? Hmm. In a mini game. If I press L5, it changes the configuration. So you can go from a configuration where you have the top screen big and the bottom screen small in the bottom right and you can actually use the touch on there if you press it again it's split screen if you press it again it's just the bottom screen press it again it's split screen but you know top on one on top one on the bottom and if you press it again it's the top screen but you know full size that can be very useful as well if you press l4 it goes from full screen to not full screen so you can get into the Citra menu especially for your in emulation station this can be quite useful okay next thing i want to show you is you see this let me focus in a bit on the left side you know i'm sure you know they're the the trackpad if you keep your finger on the trackpad you just gotta literally put it on not click keep it on you drag it to the save state to the pause to the fast forward the um, load state fast forward door tap to exit you have to double tap pretty fast change layout sub screens and full screen so if you just tap it you don't tap it with the screen you just press the you know the touchpad in as you can see i can change layouts this way i can swap screens this way i can save you know state that saved it now if i was to uh, like, you know go here and uh, you know load that state up it's loaded that particular state up you know you can pause as well as you can see the animations have now stopped and that's paused and other than that it's just full screen and not full screen so those are you know all of the hotkeys that you will mainly want to deal with if you want to look at some of the extra ones you can so let's say if i go to full full screen go to emulation configure controls obviously it's better if you do it actually um, the right trackpad is working to be fair go to hotkeys there are more here feel free to change them but you know the main ones are already you know set and i would leave them as is so that's it 
Then let me go back to full screen. So those are the hotkeys and how you, you know, you save a node state, which is very important for Citra, a 3DS emulator on your Steam Deck. Have any questions? Feel free to post on the Discord group, link in the description or post in the comments down below. If you liked the video, which I'm sure you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.